Hey everyone, uh, right so Latte Panda, um, I was interested to know why it was so hot basically and if there was any way of cooling it down, if you've looked at my previous video uh, of me unboxing it, um, you'll see that the, the temps that were coming off literally from just doing some pretty basic stuff um, was fairly high, uh, fairly high. Um, as I said in my previous video as well, and the, the Cherry Trial is, it, its max temperatures are supposed to be 90 Celsius. And I was, I was hitting 90. Um, I did a couple of tests on, off the requests that uh, came back on the video. Um, uh, and pretty much everything takes it up above 80 Celsius, which is pretty worrying, to be honest. Uh, I don't know whether that's because they've packed so much into the board or the way that the board is designed. I, I wasn't sure, really, because I couldn't really see all the components in it. Um, to answer a couple of questions, um, it's not gaming. <laughs> you can't game on this thing. Um, I tried some pretty basic stuff. I tried RimWorld on it. That runs. That's okay. Um, that kind of runs at about 85 Celsius. Um, but that's in a small game. So once it starts getting large and it's starting to having uh, to do more um, processes uh, to compute that, then I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I also tried Prison Architect. Um, that was a no-go, that just basically ground to a halt, um, again that hit 90 Celsius um, and uh, one of the guys on the YouTube channel that put a response in asked for a Dota 2 uh, test, um, so I loaded Steam on there and, um, and DirectX and all that and um, yeah that's not going to happen basically. Um, that went to about 5 frames per second um, so yeah, you, c you can't game on this thing. So anyway, um, so I, I, I'm really interested to see if I can get this thing to cool down basically. Um, so the, the main problem was that there's, there's plates on top of it and on the bottom of it and you can't see what's underneath. So I've taken it off. Um, so I've taken the, oh I can't see that, are you taken the, uh, the top plate off? And I've taken the bottom plate off. Wow, sunlight, sorry. Um, and that was really easy. Uh, that is literally <coughs> there are some really tiny clips all around the sides of all these of these plates um, that basically just need bending outwards, and then you can just lift it off. Um, there's no adhesive on there. Um, there is, however, some kind of I, th I don't know whether this is um, heat resistant, but there's these, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's this pink kind of, it's not paste, uh, what, I suppose it is paste, but it, it feels more like, more like a plaster or something. So um, there's, there's two of these um, on the bottom of it, which I'm surprised to say is where the CPU is on the bottom of the board. Um, so there you go. That's the bottom of the board with the plate off. So you can see the cherry trail there. Um, and then I'm presuming that this is the uh, eMMC. So that's your hard drive basically. That's your 64 gig. I'm presuming those are 32 gig each, um, and they kind of go through to both sides. Um, <coughs> so this is your is your RAM, basically. Um, so the main problem that I'm seeing with that, obviously, if you've got the board sitting the way that they've designed it, so upwards, the CPU's on the bottom and there's no gap for it so the heat is actually kind of just dispersing itself across the board upwards and heating all of the other components up um, presumably I mean I'm no electronics whiz but you know heat rises that's pretty basic shit 
Um, so <clears throat> I'm interested to now know, now that I've taken this off, what happens if you just turn it upside down? Because if you look on the bottom of the case, there's a fairly large vent. Strange place to put a, uh, a vent, considering there's no fans. Heat's not going to go out the bottom, um, it's going to go out the top. So, um, but that obviously causes a bit of a problem when it comes to putting something like what I've bought, a Raspberry Pi um, heatsink, copper heatsink, which I was planning on putting on it to try and cool it down a little bit. Um, so now my plan is I'm going to I don't know. I'm going to bang one on top of the um, the RAM, and I'm also going to bang one on top of one of the hard drives. So I've only got two basically. So, um, and I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to leave the shields and this weird stuff off completely, um, just to see what it does. Um, I'm I'm quite interested to see it's going to explode or something um, so uh, yeah I will do that and I will come back to you with some results uh, well I'll, I'll actually show you the results um, using HW monitor um, so yeah back shortly right so um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd uh, while I'm waiting for this I thought I'd uh, point out a few flaws with this uh, latte panda so one thing I have noticed is its downfall is extraction. Uh, it just doesn't have any power at all. I mean, this is a fairly small file, um, and you can see how long, or you'll see how long as I record this, how long it's actually freaking taking. Um, but temperature wise, uh, initial um, results look quite good actually. Um, some of the CPUs are now down in the 50s. 55s, 54s appear in there, and the max that it's gone up to so far, um, and that's just literally sort of uh, running a virus scan, downloading a couple of things, is 75. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, download, or I am currently installing uh, RealBench, so ASUS Real RealBench. Uh, I'm actually going to use a benchmark tool, which I wasn't going to do to be honest. I didn't think it would uh, it would be a good idea, um, but looking at the temperature drop now, it might be possible. Um, also, while I'm on the uh, subject of performance, I did a, a quick um, crystal disk test on uh, USB 3, the micro SD, and the C drive. Um, so I'll just show you those results. So this is the built-in eMMC. Uh, C drive uh, with so that's just one one sequence at one gigabyte and then read write times depending on the encoding. Um, so that's the C drive. This is the micro SD. Same one gig one sequence. And this is the USB three. So you can see the USB 3 and the micro SD are fairly similar. Actually, the micro SD is slightly faster, um, but the C drive is definitely the best place to put anything that you want uh, to perform. Um, so yeah, that's that. I will come back shortly with some real bench results and some temperatures. Right, so <clears throat> um, I couldn't get real bench to run uh, a stress test. Uh, I think because the, it's only got 4 gig of RAM, doesn't seem to like that for some reason. Um, so I've tried uh, Prime95, I've been running this for about 10, maybe 15 minutes now. Um, and as you can hopefully see, uh, the temperatures, so the max core temperatures are actually, um, they're in the 80s still, but this is under massive load from Prime 95 and has been for the last 15 minutes so you can see that it's um, it's actually sitting quite nicely um, at least 5 Celsius lower than I was getting um, previously um, and as you can see my minimum 
core temperatures are actually now down in the 50s. Um, so I actually think that that's made quite a bit of an improvement. Um, if I just stop this, um, you'll see obviously the uh, the actual temperatures drop down. Still going. Let's just stop that properly. <laughs> Right, so it's starting to come down now. Uh, it's taken a little while, I don't know why. But you can see that the uh, some of the core temperatures are now uh, are down in the 50s. Um, whereas when I first got it, it was definitely 60 to 70. Um, and you should hopefully see all of those drop down into the 50s fairly soon. Hopefully before my iPad runs out of space. Um, so um, just uh, also a quick note, um, I put one of the copper heat sinks on the RAM on the top and I put one of the copper heat sinks on the CPU on the bottom and I've currently got it um, flipped over so it's upside down, um, I'll uh, show you that now. And as you can see uh, now I've given it a little bit of time just to cool down from that onslaught. Uh, two of the core temperatures are now down in the 40s um, and the other three or the other two uh, are in the 50s and coming down slightly. Um, so I think that's definitely a uh, thumbs up to uh, getting rid of the crap that they've put on the board, getting rid of those plates and um, somehow fixing it so that you can uh, just sit it upside down basically and get a couple of um, heat sinks which cost me £3.50 so I uh, hope this has been helpful uh, if you've got anything um, to add to it or if I've said anything wrong I do apologise um, please put it in the comments below and like the video thanks very much